Cooking. Fun for everyone, right? Wrong. If there's any art form mixing cultures for the delight of its audience, it's cooking. But some chefs have come under fire for doing that very thing. Restaurants culturally appropriating all sorts of dishes from soup to donuts. Maybe it's the food version of white guys with dreads, but if we call out all restaurants for borrowing flavors, you're left with something pretty milk toast. Also, what the f is milk toast? Should we cancel every sushi restaurant owned by Koreans and operated by Mexicans? Of course not. Fusion is good. Where's the line on being an ambassador or appropriator? I'm Josh Burstein, and this is Cancel Delicious. To preheat this conversation on culture, I went to the Chinatown in New York City to meet South African chef Natalie Lobel of the Nosh Department, who writes about and cooks her own brand of cutting-edge food and comes from a former apartheid state. I sounded way too excited about that. Anywho, she's a really good person to talk to about this. What is the difference between borrowing and stealing to you in the restaurant world? Essentially, you have to give the credit where the credit is due. It's white business owners hiring chefs from other ethnicities and basically taking a lot of their recipes and not giving them the full credit. They don't actually understand the historical context. No, yeah. this spice is great. Let's use it. Like, cool, this headdress looks great. Let's go to Coachella wearing it. How could you actually cook if you used zero appropriate ingredients? No ingredients from any other culture. Just so all you. homegrown in America. The most Caucasian ingredient. The, the most whitest of white ingredients. Caucasian um, cuisine. Who's ready for the not appropriated cooking challenge? I am. So we are here to make 100% appropriation free cuisine. What do we got? We got duck curry tacos. I am skeptical. Okay, let's start with the hot sauce called Nuk Cham. Yeah, no, <laughs> that sounds way too hot for your colonizer cuisine. Fair enough, what about the chili though? No pepper. No pepper. Dutch East Indies Trading Co. They weren't cool. But that was a really long time ago. 1500s, early 1500s. New rule, 500 year minimum statute limitations for spices. Do you have to use the Japanese mandolin though? I don't have to. Great, I have uh, two sporks for you. Oh, perfect. That's better. Thank you yeah. so much, so okay. considerate. So you are South African Jewish. I am Asian American Jewish. Check, check. So I feel like if it's within the realm of one of our cultures, we can use it, but it has to be blessed first. Okay. Baruch atah Adonai, asher kaduk, v'mitzvah duk, shel shaduk. Amen. We were clearly flunking the assignment, but I had one other solution to culinary appropriation. What if chefs could pass the blame and let people pay a little more for their diverse palate? With one final blessing, we hedged our bets and took our dish to the people to test out a new Two Americas model that pays tribute to all involved. Hey. You guys like to try some tacos? Sure. sure. We have these curry duck tacos okay. from a whole smorgasbord of places, and then these delicious jelly tacos that are 100% non-appropriated and conflict-free. Wow, is this white bread? What is this? Oh yes, so this is a Wonder White Bread uh, tortilla, okay. and then you have a ham and cheddar lunchable, uh, lunchables. That looks horrible. Would you be willing to pay a little more for this taco, knowing that the additional appropriation fee is going towards the cultures that were involved in making this delicious dish? Seems fair, definitely. I'm all about that. Well, whatever you want to call the fee, <laughs> I'm going to go duck. Does it taste like absolution? I guess so. I'm benefiting from centuries of wisdom from a culture I don't belong to, but I hope that my fee assuages any guilt associated with that. While being mansplained the entire premise of our video, I couldn't help but wonder, is non-appropriated food really that bad? Before we completely rule out the alternative, let's yeah. try those jelly tacos. Do you mind that we're appropriating middle school now? I understand that it's guilt-free, but I don't feel like I'm helping anyone by eating this. Especially yourself. <laughs> Especially myself. Restaurant margins are tight, but if you can't pull a profit without pulling recipes from your line cook's mother's diary, without the huevos to kick back even a little coin to abuela, then maybe you ought to find another business. So how do you feel, Natalie? Appropriation fee is a decent resolution? I think if we can get restaurants on board, we got a good thing going. Speaking of good things, how do you feel about that jelly taco? 
I would rather get dragged over razor blades than eat this again. <laughs> Do you want to come down there? No, this is kind of more my thing. 